So I say welcome to this um, video lesson on uh, grammar for chapter 9, uh, Capitulum Nonum. Uh, we're going to look at first declension. I will teach you the lyrics to first declension song and then second declension. I'll teach you the lyrics for that. And we'll look at those in chart form and um, see how those work. Okay. So first declension song. First declension words are almost always feminine, and most of the endings have the letter A in them. So sometimes called the A theme declension. Okay, this goes to the tune of You Are My Sunshine. First declension, I really love you. I, 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 um, ah, uh, first singular. I, R, M, E, S, A, C, S, comes next. First declension. I really love ya. Now let's sing it all again one more time. Ah, uh, I, I, um, ah, uh, first singular. I, R, M, E, S, A, C, S comes next. First declension, I really love ya. But we're not gonna sing it again. All right, now that one I, I made myself a little while ago. And then the second declension song here for masculine, Got that from a little Latinology channel on YouTube, so shout out to them. Us e o um o e orum is o cis, that's all the forms from declension to and now we'll store them, we won't ignore them. So that's from the Ring of Fire, an old country song. One more time on that. Us e o um o e orum is os is that's all the forms from declension to and now we'll store them we won't ignore them so here you've got the us e o um o that goes through the ablative singular and then e is starting the uh, nominative plural and then orum is the genitive plural is os is dative accusative and ablative plural um, then neuter declension song two, neuter declension two song. This is from the kids' song, Mr. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Um, e, o, um, o, ablative, please sing them with me. A, o, rum, e, sa, e, endings a plural B. We sing neuter declension two. I've learned them all and I hope you do. Please sing, sing, sing with me. Neuter declension two. All right. So um e o um o. That's the singular, and then a ah, orum is a ah, is. That's the plural. And now let's look at these in a chart form so that you can see each of these in a chart. Dun dun. Let's see. Do it here. Here we go. Let's look at first declension first. So tida, which means torch or pine wood torch, often used in weddings. Uh, aqua, aqua, which means water, or terra, which means land, would be other first declension feminines. Most of these words are feminine. There are a few first declension words that are masculine. They usually are people words, like agricola or poeta. Agricola is a farmer and poeta is a poet. Since most poets and farmers in the ancient world were guys, those are usually masculine. All right, so you can see this all in the chart. Ah, uh, I, I, um, ah, uh, for singular. So that's all down through the ablative case on the singular side. And then it goes, I, R, M, E, S, us, E, S, comes next. That's the plural side. And then notice the vocative is repeating the nominative. So tida in the nominative repeats as tida in the vocative singular. Tidai as the nominative plural repeats as tidai in the vocative uh, plural. All right, now that second song, the second declension masculine, us e o um o e orum is os is. That's all the forms. That's actually what's um, the pattern for servus here in the charts. Filius is slightly different, and then there's also one third type of masculine, which is the r type, like agir or weir. Uh, let me just look at these in the middle first, and then I will look at each. Of the other two briefly. So again, the song is most like Serwus here. So it goes us, e, o, um, o, and then it goes in the plural, e, orum, is, os, is. 
Now, you notice the little asterisk on serwe in the vocative. That's because that's different. Normally, according to the vocative rule, the vocative rule says that uh, vocative is the same as a nominative except for where you see philly and where you see serwe. That is, words that end in ius in the nominative, so philius, ius, or end in just us in the nominative, serwus. For second declension masculine words like this, you do have a different vocative singular. So, for example, if I were going to say hi to somebody named Apius with an I-U-S at the end, I would say uh, Salwe Api with a long I, just like the Philly with the long I. And it's just one long I. You don't have two I's in a row. And then if I were going to say hello to somebody named Marcus, I would say Marque because that's following the short E vocative, just like we see in the chart for Serwus. Okay, and then finally the R type, uh, like Agar, the difference between that and the, the previous two is simply that instead of having an us on the end of the first nominative singular form, you're going to have an R instead. So notice Agar ends with R, it's not Agarus. Um, there are just some words like this. So, for example, puer, which means boy, it goes puer, pueri, puero, puerum, and so on. Liber, which means book, is another one. Weir, which means man, is another one. So those are the three types there. The final thing we have to look at is second declension neuter. Uh, this is the one we sang the song. Um, e o um o ablative, please sing them with me. A o rum is a is endings of plural b. We sing neuter declension to. I'll learn them all and I hope you do. Please sing, sing, sing with me. Neuter declension to. So the neuter rule, just as a reminder, uh, you've probably heard me say it before in another one. Neuter rule says that nominative and accusative for all neuter words are the same. So if you look at this chart, where boom in the nominative singular, where boom in the accusative singular. And then following the vocative rule, where boom again in the vocative. Move over to the plural side. Neuter rule says that in the uh, neuter plural, uh, the ending for nominative and accusative is always a, ah, which is a short a. So where ba is the nominative plural neuter, repeats again as where ba in the accusative plural, repeats again as where ba in the vocative plural. Um, if you compare this neuter chart with the masculine chart for like serwus, you'll see a lot of similarities and that's why they're both called second declension, but second declension masculine has some differences like the us that you see. Uh, and you don't ever see an us in the second neuter words. But there are some similarities and that's why both say second on the front of the declension name. Okay, well I hope that made sense as we looked at first and second declension as we we practice those songs. Uh, you can also go to my declension song playlist um, to find all of the declension songs just together. That might be a little easier if you want to just practice the songs. All right, voilà.